What's up guys, Corvus95 here, and welcome to another episode of my Pokemon Blue Let's Play. On today's episode we are hopefully challenging Erica for the Rainbow Badge. Now, I didn't manage to get everyone up to 28 as I wanted to, but that's mainly because it takes forever in this game to level Pokemon up. Pyro was level 18 when I started leveling up. To get 5 levels to get to 23 took me about an hour and a half. So yeah, I don't want to spend like six hours leveling everyone up to level 28. So we're going to go in with a level 23 Vulpix with Ember, Tail Whip, Quick Attack and Roll. We've also got Lindbergh, level 25, the Fero, he can help out. Faraday, Amethyst, Amethyst may be useful for the Grass Gem. can take out some of the Poison types there with Confusion. We've got Cotton, Ruby, and Faraday as well. And yeah, let's go on the way. We're not, we can actually buy Firestones from the Celadon department store. However, at this point, we are not evolving Vulpix until it gets to 35, because that's when it learns Flamethrower naturally. I did, however, go to the department store to pick up some fresh water, soda pops, and lemonades. That's, that's just completely random chance that I picked up 15 fresh waters plus one of each to trade for TMs. That was completely random chance. We actually do need another Pokemon out of our PC because we need Cut to get into the gym. It's quite strange that both this third and the fourth gyms you need Cut to enter. Let's go Bill's PC, deposit Pokemon. I think Faraday is going to be the least useful, so we'll put Faraday in the PC, we'll get out Seth, of course we'll have Velamo, or Velamo in the PC, but uh, Vaporeon is not going to be much help, although it's not Vaporeon yet, it's still an Eevee, we may evolve it in this episode, because I have bought a Water Storm. As you can see, there's quite a few Team Rocket grunts hanging around Celadon at the minute. And we're going to hack down the tree with Cut. I'm going to head to the gym. This could either go really well or really badly. Because I'm not sure how well we'll actually do because of our level. Hehe, <laughs> this great is, gym is great. It's full of women. Okay, creepy old man. Okay, let's get underway with this battle against this girl here. Is this a lass? It is a lass. She wants to fight, she has a bell sprout. These are the most annoying Pokemon in the world. Trying to train up Vulpix, Pyrrha. They have Wrap, Sleep Powder, Poison Powder, and Stun Spore. And it's just, they drive me insane. Go for the Ember. I think this should be a two shot. We get a critical hit. And we get a burn, so he is going down this turn. And there's the Sleep Powder. And I didn't bring Awakenings. There's the Wrap. He's gonna go down to the Burn. The Weeping Bell. Let's stay in and try and get out of sleep. Oh, wrap. I hate it so much. I don't have any awakenings. I'm going to have to go buy some. Wrap, why must you be broken in Generation 1? And why must so many Pokemon use wrap in Generation 1? Oh! Come on! Stop using wrap. Use a different move. Try and put me to sleep again. If I outspeed him, I shouldn't get trapped in wrap. It's so broken, like, <laughs> like... As long as he doesn't use Nala move, I'm always trapped. Oh! I'm switching out. 
Limburg Gorgel. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What is this? You can't just wrap everyone in my Pokemon to death. Thank you. Take out the Weeping Bell. That's some good experience right there. And two rough. Okay, we're going to use a fresh water on Pira. Does restore 50 HP. And it only costs 200, so it's better than a potion in every single way. Because fresh water is better than specially made medicine, apparently. We've got a beauty here, yeah, beauty. She has an oddish. This is obviously going to have like sleep powder as well. At least it doesn't have rock. I only went for absorb. Does two damage. And there is a two hit KO, very good. They're gonna sell it, send it. I meant to switch out there. Come on, critical hit. It started again, guys. It started again. Why? Stop using rap. Thank you. Stop using rap is going to be my new catchphrase, I think. It's due entirely to this gym. You don't know how many times I've said stop using rap today, because I've done all the training today as well. A bell sprout. Yes, I will change Pokemon. Let's go out into Lindbergh. And let's go for the pack. And it's a one hit kill. Very good. We defeat Beauty. Our makeup has been spoiled. That was the aim of that, obviously. Pyrrha's got enough health to battle. Please don't have a Bell Sprout or Weeping Bell. Um, junior trainer? I wanted to say Picnicker, because that's what they call them in the later games. Level 24 Bulbasaur. Let's go for the Ember. It's a 2 hit kill, surprisingly enough. So it was going to be a 3 hit kill. Although, Vulpix slash Ninetales does have a very good special stat in this generation. An Ivysaur. Sure, I reckon stand for that. Got the hind legs I've saw. Which is also growling. Fine Whip is going to do 10 damage because of the critical hit. Which is decent damage for a grass type move on a fire type. Vulpix's back sprite looks nothing like a Vulpix. It looks like the Firefox logo, if anything. And we'll start here. And they're so easy to raise. Oh yeah, that was the thing in Generation 1, wasn't it? That Grass Pokemon were much easier to level up than all our types. Why must you have a Bell Sprout? Can you use a different Pokemon, please? Please go for like Poison Powder here. Thank you. Because I'm not bothered, poison does like so little damage in this generation. Uh, Why do you go for rap when you have 1 HP left? Can you not go for a different move? I'm going to take him out with the ember. And please let that be your last, your only Pokemon. No, you have another Bell Sprout. We're switching out into Lindbergh. Bell Sprout is the most annoying Pokemon in this game. It's like in later gens when you get the trainers who just spam double team with a single Pokemon. It's more annoying than that, I think. Because this you just can't do anything. Whereas at least in those situations, I'm going to use Potion. In those situations, you can at least... 
What was I gonna say? You can at least... Um... It's down to you missing and you actually getting to use moves. But with the rap problem, you just can't make a move at all. So this beauty wants to fight. Sends out an execute. First time I've seen one of those. And there's Ember. Barrage, how much is that gonna do? Four per hit. Is it gonna hit five times? No, just the three. This won't kill. Because for some reason, the. Uh, as I get put to sleep again, for some reason the Yowl health bar begins at like 60%, something like that. Don't know why they're going for reflect when I'm using special moves. Yes, I understand you like barraging me with, I don't know what they are, X? We wake up and we're going to die actually if he hits four times. Which of course they don't. And again, Ember off. Take out the execute. That was by the skin of my teeth there. We defeated the beauty. And I'm going to use a fresh water. Let's go by this girl. There's twins here, it looks like. They are cool trainers. I think these are the first cool trainers we've actually faced. Let's go for the Ember. Well, thank you for going for Poison Powder. I really appreciate it. What? They withdrew after I had attacked. What? I don't understand. Since when has that been a thing in the Pokemon games that you withdraw your Pokemon after your opponents attacked you? Isn't that like the first priority apart from pursuit? The Weeping Bell's gonna come back in. We can timber it. Of course, the amazing thing about this game is you get no malices if you manage to faint a Pokemon. Like, I, I don't take poison damage because I fainted that Weeping Bell. Does 5 damage. And we're going to have to finish it with a quick attack. Oh no, we're not. We we'll actually take it out. Was not actually expecting to take it out there. And because of something I just noticed, if we look, we actually have zero embers left. So I will be back in a minute after I run to the Pokemon Center to heal. So I'll see you in a minute, guys. Okay, guys, welcome back. I am ready to face off against the final trainer in Erica's gym and then against Erica herself. Don't bring any bugs or fire Pokemon in here. I'm afraid I have both. You have an Oddish, and we have a Vulpix, which is going to burn you alive. Go for the Poison Powder, it doesn't do anything, thankfully, and we take out the Oddish. We send out a Gloom, we will stay in and go for the Ember again. There's just under half. Those are the stun spawn. I fortunately do have some paralyzed heals. We go for the absorb, which means this may not kill, but it probably will with the burn. And we take out the gloom. 
And the final trainer in the gym has fallen to the might of Pura. We are going to use a... Why do we not have any paralyzed heals? Okay, I guess we're going to go into the Erica battle without healing our paralyzed Pokemon. Let's go. Hello, lovely weather, isn't it? It's so pleasant. Oh dear, I must have dozed off. Welcome. My name is Erica. I am the leader of the Saladon Gym. I teach the art of flower arranging. My Pokemon are of the grass type. Oh, I'm sorry. I had no idea that you wished to challenge me. Very well, but I shall not lose. Grass types are actually my favorite type of Pokemon. So, if I was a gym leader, I would be in Erica's position. No, no, not, not Bellsprout's evolution. It has begun. It has begun. Okay, I'm switching out straight away. I don't care. Amethyst, come in. Goes for the poison powder. It was ni nice of him to switch up his moves. Go for the confusion. Goes for the wrap, of course. What else would it go for? We're gonna be whittled down very quickly here. I think we now need to use a fresh water. Item, fresh water on Amethyst just to get the heal. And a bear with this news wrap. Oh, it did. That's, a, that's good actually. Because it means he's not likely to use wrap next turn. It didn't. Let's go confusion. You have to be kidding me. You have to be kidding me because he outspeeds, he gets to go for wrap. I really hate wrap. It's the most annoying move I've ever came up against. Thank you for missing. Now die. Like, don't just faint, actually die. You're really annoying me. Thank you. So that, that annoyance is gone. Pura has grown to level 27. Amethyst's grown to level 23. And they're about to use a Tangler. I will switch out. Pura can take care of a Tangler. Tangler actually looks really nice on this game. Go for the Ember. Oh my goodness. How can you have a how can you have a worse version of that? You're fine. Are you kidding me? And because you outspeed me, because I'm paralyzed, I can't do anything. If you're just going to use bind, I'm going to kill myself. I'm going to just... <laughs> I'm going to get Pura to set me on fire. You have to be kidding me. Because I'm slower than the stupid Tangler, I can never escape from its bind. Let's go Fury Attack. Actually is more powerful than Peck as long as it hits more than two times. It has two moves to do it. Are we joking? Oh, Constrict doesn't do it. Good. I thought Constrict was going to have the same effect. <laughs> Why? Why must you use bind? The vile plume that you has last. Better not use bind. Please don't use it. Come on, Tangler. Stop it. 
<sighs> I wanted to get more done in this episode than just the gym. But we're not gonna get a chance because they just keep spamming bind and rap. This is a joke. How how did the game developers ever think this was a legitimate strategy? Oh, I'm so angry. So, so angry. It's ridiculous. Just because I miss out on the knockout by, like, that much damage, I don't get to attack. Thank you. Right, you go down. I don't care about Pyrogen levels anymore. Lindbergh's taking care of the Battle Bloom. No. Sticking with Lindbergh. He's our powerhouse. He can two-shot. No, he can't two-shot the Bell Blue. Bit unfortunate there. Goes for the Petal Dance. The strongest grass move, I believe, in this game. That does so much damage. How does that do that much damage? Lindbergh, get healed. That does a ridiculous amount of damage. I did like 40 damage. Go for another peck. And one more should take it out. And down goes the Valplume. And there is our fourth badge obtained. Oh, I concede defeat. You are remarkably strong, and you're very cheap. I must confer you the Rainbow Badge. We gain about 3,000 Poké Dollars. The Rainbow Badge will make Pokémon up to level 50 obey. It also allows Pokémon to use strength in and out of battle. Please also take this with you. TM21, which I believe is Mega Drain, yeah. You didn't use that at all, but fair enough. Okay, so that's going to be the end of this episode, guys. If you have enjoyed, leave a like on the video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And from me, Corpus 85, thank you guys so much for watching, and goodbye.